Welcome back, Finance Homefront viewers. Thank you for tuning in to another episode where we delve into the latest developments in the financial world. Today, we have an exciting and crucial topic to discuss, the skyrocketing price of Bitcoin, its implications on global markets, and how recent political and economic shifts might influence its future. Before we dive in, I want to remind you to hit that like button if you find this video informative and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with all our latest content. Your support helps us continue bringing you in-depth analysis and insights on all things finance. Please remember that the information shared in this video is for educational and informational purposes only. I am not offering financial advice and it's important to do your own research or consult with a professional advisor before making any investment decisions. Now, let's explore how Bitcoin's remarkable rise over the past year, coupled with geopolitical tensions and economic policies, is shaping the future of digital currencies. Stay tuned. Over the past year, the price of Bitcoin has experienced a remarkable surge, defying a critical warning from the Federal Reserve. This rise has been driven in part by speculators who are increasingly confident that former United States President Donald Trump will return to the White House in November. Meanwhile, the ambitious Project 2025 policy plan is setting Bitcoin on a potential collision course with gold. At the same time, U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has expressed concerns that American financial sanctions could diminish the global role of the dollar, especially as Russia promotes the use of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. During a recent session with the House Financial Services Committee, Yellen emphasized the power of U.S. sanctions due to the dollar's significant role in international trade. She pointed out, the more we employ sanctions, the more other nations seek alternatives to conducting financial transactions without involving the dollar. In an update from mid-July, Larry Fink, CEO of BlackRock, whose pivot to cryptocurrency last year was a key factor in bringing Bitcoin spot exchange traded funds, ETFs, to Wall Street, voiced concerns about the rapid increase in the U.S. debt. Speaking to CNBC, Fink said, we're imposing a heavy burden on future generations with this massive spending that is unsustainable. The U.S. deficit is the largest globally, growing at the fastest rate, and we need to find ways to minimize its economic impact. Public deficits are expanding too quickly as a percentage of GDP. Earlier this year, analysts from Bank of America warned that the U.S. debt is set to increase by $1 trillion every 100 days, contributing to the surge in Bitcoin prices. Michael Hartnett, the bank's chief strategist, noted in a client memo, the national debt is rising by $1 trillion every 100 days, making it no surprise that debt debasement trades are nearing all-time highs. Recently, analysts at BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager, warned of an unprecedented scenario that could affect Bitcoin prices and the broader cryptocurrency market. They explained that the Federal Reserve and other central banks are likely to maintain higher interest rates than pre-pandemic levels to combat persistent inflationary pressures. Fink, who previously dismissed Bitcoin as an index of money laundering in 2017, has since acknowledged his error and now considers it a legitimate financial instrument. He explained to CNBC, it is a legitimate financial instrument that can provide uncorrelated returns. I believe it is a suitable investment when investors are fearful, particularly when they think countries are devaluing their currencies through excessive deficits. BlackRock's acceptance of Bitcoin is widely credited with propelling the cryptocurrency market's recovery over the past year. A slew of spot Bitcoin ETFs emerged on Wall Street in January, led by BlackRock's iBit Bitcoin Fund. The U.S. has imposed stringent financial sanctions on Russia and Iran in recent years, leading to accusations that it is weaponizing the dollar and pushing the so-called BRICS group of emerging economies away from the Western financial system. Initially comprising Brazil, Russia, India, and China, the BRICS alliance has expanded to include South Africa, Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates, UAE. These major developing countries have joined forces to enhance their global influence and power. 
Zhao Qingming, a financial expert based in Beijing, told the China newspaper Global Times, Western financial sanctions led by the U.S. will impact the international status of the dollar. In the short term, the dollar's position should remain stable, but it may weaken over time. Earlier this month, the Central Bank of Russia encouraged the use of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies to counter Western sanctions imposed due to the Ukraine conflict. Elvira Nabulina, governor of the Russian Central Bank, stated at a financial conference in St. Petersburg, new financial technologies create opportunities for schemes that did not exist before. This is why we softened our stance on the use of cryptocurrencies in international payments, allowing digital assets in such transactions. As concerns about the potential collapse of the US dollar grow, some Bitcoin and cryptocurrency traders are betting that Bitcoin's price will reach an all-time high ahead of the US presidential election in November. Jeffrey Kendrick, head of Forex and crypto research at Standard Chartered, predicted in a July 2nd note seen by the block that a new all-time high for Bitcoin in August is likely followed by $100,000 by U.S. Election Day. He added, the rationale is that both regulation and mining would be viewed more favorably under Trump. Kendrick further predicted that Bitcoin's price could reach $150,000 by the end of 2024 and $200,000 by the end of 2025, giving it a market capitalization of around $4 trillion. Trump has emerged as the favored candidate within the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency community, pledging to protect people's rights to hold Bitcoin. He is set to be a headline speaker at the Bitcoin 2024 conference later this month, putting him in stark contrast to the Biden administration's anti-crypto stance. As we wrap up this deep dive into the recent surge in Bitcoin prices and its broader implications, I hope you found the insights and analysis valuable. The evolving landscape of cryptocurrency influenced by political, economic, and global dynamics presents both opportunities and challenges that are crucial to understand. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and fellow finance enthusiasts. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to Finance Homefront for more comprehensive updates and discussions on the latest in the financial world. I'd love to hear your thoughts on today's topic. Do you think Bitcoin will continue its upward trajectory or are there potential hurdles we need to be aware of? Leave your comments below and let's start a conversation. Remember, while we strive to bring you accurate and up-to-date information, this is not financial advice. Always conduct your own research or consult with a professional advisor when making investment decisions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Stay informed, stay invested, and stay tuned to Finance Homefront.